This is Alan with the Rolling Network. Welcome. Today I got my uh, friend Chad with the uh, Mr. Survival Hobby. And today we're going to show you how to make a aquaponic system on a budget. As you can see here, we have two IBC totes. Uh, we got these on Craigslist. They're 275 gallons and they're about 100 bucks. So you can do this with one IBC tote, but we're going to do it with two today and we'll show you in the segment to follow. Okay, so the first step is to remove the tank from the cage. In order to do that, you have to remove the two brackets from up top, which have four screws, one on each side. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we have the two brackets removed and the four screws, you lift up on it and you're going to want to slide it out of place, if I can do it, and slide them right on out. And now you're ready to remove the tank from the cage. We've removed the brackets uh, from the tank. You want to make sure that you keep those. We're going to save those for later. We're going to go ahead and remove the tank now. All right. So the next step is we're going to show you uh, cutting the cage and making uh, the flower bed and we'll do that next. Okay, so now that we have the tank removed from the cage, you're going to want to cut the cage about this level. And the reason for that is to separate the top portion and use that for support for the fish tank. And then this bottom portion is going to be for the grow beds. Now you can use any kind of cutting tool that you would like, sawzaw, I tend to use a grinder with a metal blade on it. It's much easier, you get a smooth, clean cut. Be sure to wear your safety glasses. Let's go ahead and start cutting. Okay, now that we've used the grinder to separate the bottom section of the cage, we're gonna go ahead and lift it up. Flip it over, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to use the grinder to smooth out the rough edges of uh, the cage, both the top part and the bottom part. Okay, as you can see here, we've got the uh, cage separated. We're going to go ahead and place the tote, our IBC tote, upside down so we can mark off for the grow bed. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is get a sharpie and a level, and ideally, the best height is 10 inches. So let's go ahead and mark it out. Okay, so now that we have it marked, we're gonna go ahead and make our cut. My tool of choice for this particular task is a sawzall. Okay, now that we've removed the uh, bottom portion uh, or the grow bed of the IVC tote, uh, you want to make sure that you give it a good washing. You can use any kind of a antibacterial soap, just be sure to wash it down really well. So these are of uh, food grade, that's why you want to, just want to make sure, take the extra precaution of it because uh, you don't know what was inside it. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And the other thing is you want to make sure that you can do this to the other IVC tote, uh, follow steps exactly the same. 